Today in our 2014 Honda CRV, we'll be installing the Roadmaster Tow Bar Wiring Kit with Bulb and Socket Part Number RM-155. Now to begin our install, we'll first need to remove the taillight assemblies. To remove the taillight assemblies, we'll open up the rear hatch and then remove the two fasteners that secure the taillight assembly to the body. Next, we'll go ahead and gently remove the taillight assembly from its position, releasing the fasteners and being careful not to break the alignment tabs underneath. Now, with the taillight assemblies pulled out, we can see the back of the taillight assemblies where we'll mount the bulb and socket. To mount the bulb and socket, we'll first need to drill a hole into the back of the taillight assembly. As per the instructions, we'll use a one inch hole saw. Now with the hole drilled out, we'll need to fit the bulb and socket to our hole. The small tabs that go around the socket itself are flexible so that we can bend them as necessary for a nice secure fit into our hole. We'll go ahead and bend them out as necessary and then fit the socket to our hole. Now for this application, because the surface is not completely flat, we'll also use an additional sealer to help hold the socket in position. We'll be using the Loctite RTV Part number LT37467. We'll go ahead and put the RTV around the socket and then the socket into the hole. Quick tech tip, to help prevent the sealant from getting on the bulb, I recommend to apply the sealer to the socket assembly and then install the socket assembly into the back of the taillight lens. Next, we'll take a zip tie and secure the taillight socket to the manufacturer's wiring. We'll cut off the excess from the zip tie and repeat the same process on the other side. Next, we'll get underneath the vehicle and go ahead and route our four pole harness up behind the taillight assembly. Now we're ready to start wiring the bulb and socket kit to our four pole harness. Starting on the passenger side, we'll go ahead and cut off one end of the four pole harness. We can go ahead and throw the end away as it will not be used for this application. Then we'll go ahead and peel back the wires and start stripping them back. Note, we'll cut the yellow wire off short as it will not be used here on the passenger side. We'll go ahead and add the blue butt connectors and secure them. We'll then begin matching up with the bulb and socket wiring. We'll match green to red. Brown to brown. And white to black. I recommend to wrap them up with some black electrical tape to help keep out any dirt, dust, debris, or moisture. We'll go ahead and secure the wiring as necessary, cut off the excess from our zip ties to clean up our install look, and then reinstall the taillight assembly. Next, we'll get underneath the vehicle and go ahead and route our four pole harness over to the driver's side and up behind the driver's side taillight assembly. For this application, it may be necessary to use a pull wire to assist in routing the wire. Pull wire can be a stiff piece of wire, or in this case, a piece of air tubing that we'll use to assist in routing of our new four pole harness. Once we have the pull wire in place, we can then tape our four pole harness to the pull wire with some black electrical tape and then pull it into position. Now that we have our four pole harness up behind the driver's side taillight assembly, we'll go ahead and cut the white, brown, and yellow wire in half. We'll peel back both sides and strip them back. We'll then take the two ends that we just cut, twist them together, and secure them to one side of the yellow butt connector. The other side will match up with the taillight socket that we installed here on the driver's side. 
It'll be brown to brown and red to yellow. Now here on the driver's side, before we connect the black wire to the white wires for our ground, we'll add an additional piece of white wire that can be taken off the four pole harness to our black wire, twist it together, and then connect it to the white wire that we ran over from the passenger side. We'll take the other end of our additional white wire that we're adding, cut off any excess, strip it back, and add the blue ring terminal provided with our install kit. We'll use a self-tapping screw to make this connection. Note, I recommend to find an area where the sheet metal doubles up for a more secure ground. Here behind the taillight assembly is a good location. Now with the ground secured, we'll go ahead and wrap up our wires with some black electrical tape. Then we'll take the four pole harness and route it back down underneath the vehicle. Now with our wires routed, we'll go ahead and secure them as necessary and cut off the excess from the zip ties to clean up our install look. Next, we can go ahead and reinstall the driver's side taillight assembly. Now with that done, we'll move back underneath the vehicle and start routing our new four pole harness up to the front of the vehicle and ultimately to our base plate bar. Keep in mind when routing your wires, stay away from any moving components such as steering or suspension or excessive heat such as exhaust. As we route the wire, we'll also secure it with some zip ties as necessary. For this application, it may also be necessary to loosen or remove some of the underbody panels when routing your wire. Now with the wire routed and secured, we'll go ahead and mount it to the base plate. Using the hardware provided with the base plate, we'll go ahead and secure the mount with the self-tapping screw directly to the base plate electrical mount. Then we'll go ahead and route the four pole to it and secure it with a zip tie. Next, we'll take any excess wire from our four pole harness and secure it to the back side of the base plate. Now with the wiring secure, we'll go ahead and clean up our install look. And this will complete the install of the Roadmaster Tow Bar Wiring Kit with Bulb and Socket, part number RM-155, in conjunction with the Loctite RTV, part number LT37467, on our 2014 Honda CRB.